Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will see how to display the clustered column chart with multiple x-axis. In the previous video we have learned what the clustered column chart exactly and how to create a clustered column chart visual in Power BI. In the same way, in this video we will learn these two headings. First we will see how to display the clustered column chart with multiple x-axis and also in the same way we will see how to add multiple values in the y-axis on the clustered column chart in Power BI. So let's begin. Initially we will see how to display the clustered column chart with multiple x-axis values. Log into the Power BI desktop using the credentials and then under the home tab you can see the get data option here. Using the get data option load the data into the Power BI desktop. Here you can see the data has been loaded already and you can view the data in the data view. Now go back to the report view. Under the visualization tab here you can see the clustered column chart is presented. Select the clustered column chart here, align the clustered column chart and then we will see how to display the multiple x-axis values in the clustered column chart visual. So if I want to display the clustered column chart with the sales that occurred by product and country then in that case I will drag and drop the product here and the sales field in the y-axis. Here you can see the clustered column charts the value and displays the data by product. To, to display multiple x-axis value here you can see I am going to add the country field here under the x-axis. You can see my clustered column chart is not changing just because the clustered column chart by default it takes the first value. So in this case you can see here the first value is product. So the column chart is displaying the product value. If I change the product as the second and country as the first one then in the x-axis field in that case the clustered column chart will be displaying the sales value by country. Here you can see I have changed the product as the second second field and the country is first field. It takes the first field by default. If I want to display the clustered column chart with both the axes which means the multiple x-axis field. Then in that case there is no other option. We can choose the drill down option here. First it displays the sales value by country and if I go to the next level then in that case we can see it displays the sales by product. But my case is to display the clustered column chart with both the axes. Then in that case I will use the drill down hierarchy to expand all down in one level. Here you can simply select this drill down hierarchy so that it displays the sales value that occurred by country and product in the single clustered column chart. Here you can see it takes the multiple x-axis values and displays the clustered column chart with country, product and the sales value. So this is how we can add the multiple x-axis field values and display the data in the clustered column chart in Power BI visual. Next we will see how to display multiple values on the clustered column chart in Power BI. Here I am going to add one another new page. In the same way make sure data has been loaded into the desktop and choose the clustered column chart here to display the multiple values in the OBA cluster column chart visual. Here I am going to display the sales value with multiple and other values based on the product. So in that case I am going to drag and drop the product field into the x-axis. In the same way in the y-axis I am going to display the sales value, profit value and the CGOS value and gross sales discounts. Here you can see when I drag and drop multiple field into the y-axis the clustered column chart is changing based on the field that I am adding to the y-axis. Here you can see it is not only selecting the first field value it is selecting all the field values and displaying the data in the clustered column chart. When you hover you can see the product and the selected gross sale value. Here you can see it displays the profit value in the sky blue color and the discounts in the pink color based on the product value. In the same way we can also remove the product discounts value then you can simply select the cancel one. So here you can see it displays only the profit, sales, CGOS and gross sale value. This is how we can display the multiple values on the clustered column chart in the Power BI visual. With this we came to the end of this video where we have learned how to display the clustered column chart with multiple x-axis and how to display the clustered column chart visual with multiple values in the Power BI visual report. I hope you understood how to work with multiple x-axis and the multiple values in the clustered column chart visual in a power bi report. thanks for watching this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel please check it out and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thank you